Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing another list of some of my favorite things. This time I'm going to be listing my top 15 favorite bands. I was going to do a top 10 like last time and like I did on my blog, but honestly, even though I obviously narrowed it down to my top 10 since this is a ranking, I still wanted to talk about the five bands that didn't necessarily make the top 10. So it's gonna be a top 15, love all these bands, cannot wait to talk about them. So starting off the list at number 15 is The Spill Canvas. Now this is actually one of only two bands on this list that I have actually seen live. I do hope to change that sometime in the very near future, but this concert was actually really cool because it was a really small venue. I got to actually meet the guys. I got a t-shirt and I got it signed by three of them and I got to talk to them and they were super nice, really down to earth, and the concert was really great as well because it was, like I said, a small venue. I was right there up at the stage. It was it was really great. And as far as my favorite songs by them, I would have to go with All Over You, Saved, Bleed, Everyone's Doing It, and Appreciation and the Bomb, all of which are on their No Really I'm Fine album. Number 14 on the list is Never Shout Never, which is actually a major fall from grace because back in high school, Never Shot Never slash, you know, Christopher Drew was like number three favorite band ever, sometimes number four. So yeah, Never Shot Never used to be one of my absolute favorite bands. I listened to Never Shot Never like constantly back in 2010, 2011, and I don't know, I just haven't enjoyed a lot of the stuff that the full band now has put out lately. And I really don't listen to the older stuff that I used to listen to a lot very much anymore. So if I were to name my favorite Never Shot Never album, I'd be kind of torn between What Is Love and Harmony, which were both 2010 releases by, I think, just Christopher Drew as a solo act under the name Never Shot Never. And my top three Never Shot Never songs are Can't Stand It, Piggy Bank, and First Dance, all of which come from those two albums that I just named. Coming in at number 13 is Cage the Elephant, which is another very long-standing favorite. They've always kind of been in this range of like just slightly inside of or just slightly outside of my top 10, but they have been a pretty consistent favorite since like 2009. If you are looking for a band that is really unique, really out there, extremely weird, Cage the Elephant is your band. Not only does Cage the Elephant try out lots of different things with music, they're all really unique and weird things that they try out. So they just have like really eclectic music. As far as favorite CDs go for Cage the Elephant, they kind of go in release order. Their debut CD, Cage the Elephant, is definitely my favorite, and then Thank You, Happy Birthday. And there are so many songs that I love by Cage the Elephant. I really love Ain't No Rest for the Wicked, I really love Backstab and Betty, um, Free Love, Always Something, but my absolute favorite Cage the Elephant song ever is also, honestly, probably in my top 10 favorite songs of all time, like it's that high up there, and that is In One Ear. Like, just go listen to it. It's really weird, but it's so awesome. I love it so much. It's, like I said, one of my probably top 10 favorite songs of all time. Number 12 on my list is also probably the most famous band on the list, and that is Green Day. I mean, if you like pop punk and you don't like Green Day, what are you doing? I mean, Green Day is such a standard, well-known, well-respected pop punk band, and even though they're not in my top 10, I do really enjoy them. And I hate to be cliche, but my favorite Green Day CD is American Idiot. I mean, it's just every single song on that CD is so amazing, and I talked about it on my top 10 CDs of all time, linked down in the description. I just, I really love that CD, and I really love like concept albums and like rock opera albums, so I mean, this one is super high up there for me. Surprisingly though, my favorite Green Day song is actually not on American Idiot. It is on their 2000 album, Warning, and it is Minority. Minority has been my favorite Green Day song for a very long time. However, I also really love Jesus of Suburbia, She's a Rebel, F.O.D., um, Basket Case, obviously. Who doesn't love Basket Case? I mean, there are a lot of really great Green Day songs. I'm also a big fan of East Jesus Nowhere, 
Like, it's kind of random because I don't really listen to 21st Century Breakdown very much, but that one's one of my favorites too. Number 11 is a band that stole my heart with a single album, and that is Hey Monday. Their debut and only album is also featured alongside American Idiot on my top 10 favorite albums. I just, that CD is so great, and the EP that they put out after it is really good too, but Hey Monday is just such a great band, and they've been on hiatus since 2011, but since then Cassidy Pope has gone on The Voice and it's kind of started a solo country career, so I really don't see the band getting back together. But I mean, that hiatus kind of has me just kind of hoping, but I mean, it's really not gonna happen. So yeah, obviously my favorite CD by them is Hold On Tight, but my favorite song by them is Josie. I also really love the song Set Off, um, Homecoming, Obvious, Six Months, gonna stop there. Just the whole CD is really great. You should definitely check it out. So we've now broken into the top 10 and the band coming in at number 10 is Busted. And no, I'm not talking about Mick Busted. I am talking about Busted, the original three-person band that disbanded in 2005. Busted is probably one of the bands that I've been listening to the longest on this list because I did actually find them through the Jonas Brothers back in junior high because the Jonas Brothers, if y'all didn't know, covered one of Busted's songs called Year 3000. And yeah, I think that Busted is just a lot of fun. Their lyrics are really silly and they're really cheeky and I just really liked Busted. My absolute favorite song by Busted is definitely She Wants To Be Me. That one is so much fun, but I also obviously love Year 3000. Um, I love Nerdy. Meet You There is one of my all-time favorites. They just, they have a lot of great ones, like all of these bands. Coming in at number nine is Sleeping With Sirens, which is actually surprisingly one of the most recent additions to this list because I didn't discover them until college. And honestly, my favorite thing about Sleeping With Sirens is Kellen Quinn's really unique voice. Like, if y'all have not heard him sing, you need to go find Sleeping With Sirens song and just listen to his voice because he's basically a counter tenor. He has this really unique timbre and a super high voice and it's just really unique and I think that the band owes a lot of their success to that very, very unique voice that Kellen Quinn has. And I mean, obviously their songs are amazing, duh but I do think that the voice kind of sets them over the edge. And I actually don't have a favorite Sleeping With Sirens album. I know that sounds really weird, but I mean, my favorite songs by them are kind of just spread across all the albums. My favorite by them is Do It Now, Remember It Later, but I also really love Congratulations. I love Alone. I love Kick Me. I love If You Can't Hang. I obviously love James Dean, everyone loves that one, but yeah, there are just so many really great songs with Sleeping With Sirens that I can't really choose a favorite album. So now we've gotten into the top eight and this is kind of like a bit of a separation. Like these eight are definitely really far ahead of the rest of the bands that I've already mentioned. Coming in at number eight is the band that actually got me into pop punk, the first alternative band I fell in love with and that is Paramore. So story time, back in the first half of 2008, when I was in seventh grade, I heard Crush 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 by Paramore for the first time, and that was really what got me into seeking out alternative music. Like, they started everything, and obviously I owe a lot to them for this. Once again, I really can't choose a favorite album by Paramore, because once again, my favorites are like really spread across the board. And I guess if I had to choose one, I would go with Riot because it was the one that I initially fell in love with. But lately I've listened to some of their more recent albums a lot more. But one of my favorite Paramore songs is Playing God. That one has been one of my favorites ever since I first heard it. Um, I really love Ignorance and Brick by Boring Brick. Born for This, that was like my first favorite Paramore song. I mean, obviously Crush, Crush, Crush. There are just, I could name like all of Paramore songs. I just, I really love them so much. Also, I'm only mentioning this one because it is a less well-known Paramore song, but All I Wanted. Oh my goodness, All I Wanted. Like that is another of my absolute favorite Paramore songs and it's so good and y'all should go listen to it because it's very underrated and it's so amazing. Number seven is a band that popped up in my top five favorite CDs of all time. I think they came in at number four with their CD Losing Sleep, 
and that band is Parachute. Now, Parachute has a really interesting history as far as my favorite bands go, because back in high school, they were like top five. They were usually either three or four on my favorites list, but then when they released their third album, they dropped pretty far because I was not a fan of it. However, actually over the past couple months, I've actually started listening to their third CD again, and I don't love it as much as their old sound because there was a really big sound change between their second and third CDs, but I have learned to appreciate it on its own, and I really enjoy it now, so they have climbed the ranks back up into my top 10. Their music, especially on their first two CDs, is just so chill. That's definitely the word I would use to describe it. It's like, I think, something that most people would enjoy. It's really relaxing. I just, I really love their music. But yeah, obviously my favorite CD by them is Losing Sleep because I did put it in my top five albums of all time, but I do also really love both of their other albums. As for my favorite songs by them, Kiss Me Slowly is honestly one of my absolute favorite songs of all time, let alone one of my favorite Parachute songs. I also really love Back Again, The New Year, um, You and Me, those are definitely my top four. But honestly, anything by Parachute, especially their first CD and their second CD too, most of the second CD, just so amazing. Coming in at number six is a band that was my absolute favorite band for like three years straight, and that is The Academy Is. If there is one band breakup that has hit me harder than any other, it's The Academy Is. These guys, I love them like their personalities, I love their music, I just, I miss them so much. They're doing a reunion show in September and I'm really sad I can't be there, but I love these guys so much. Also, they had a video podcast called TAI TV and it's hilarious. I'm pretty sure it's still in the iTunes store. You should definitely go check it out. If it's not there, it's on YouTube. Just so great. And they also made an appearance on my top 10 favorite albums of all time. I can't remember where they placed, but my favorite CD by them is Almost Here, which is the one that's on that list. It's just, it's only 10 songs, but it's so good. So my favorite song by them is once again, one of my all time favorite songs, and that is Black Mamba. I also really love We've Got a Big Mess on Our Hands, um, Classifieds, The Phrase That Pays, um, Check Marks, Everything We Had, uh, Neighbors, I'm listing like all their songs, I'm just gonna stop. But yeah, they were just such a great band and I really wish I could be at their reunion show in September. Especially since they are going to be playing the entirety of their Almost Here album, which like I said, is one of my favorites of all time. It just, oh, I love them so much. Okay, so we have officially cracked the top five and the band coming in at number five is The Audition. These guys are not incredibly well known. I actually kind of stumbled upon them randomly in the sampler CD and I absolutely fell in love. The band hasn't necessarily broken up, but they haven't released anything since 2012, which is when their lead singer, Danny, had vocal surgery. They hinted last year at some sort of new CD that they might be working on in the near future, but we have yet to see said CD, so I'm not holding out much hope, but I love this band so much, and I really want to see more from them. And just so I can stop saying it, from here on out, all of these bands have made my top 10 albums of all time, and the CD by The Audition that made it was Controversy Loves Company, which was their debut. So my favorite song by them is You've Made Us Conscious, but I also love You Ruin This, um, My Temperature's Rising, Make It Rain, Don't Be So Hard, Dance Halls Turn to Ghost Towns, The Way You Move, The Running Man, I'm gonna stop there, I'm naming so many songs, but this band is so amazing, y'all should definitely go check them out. Number four on the list is the most recent addition to the list, and that is Mariana's Trench. I just think that this band has a really interesting and unique sound. They toy with a lot of different styles, and the lead singer, Josh Ramsey, is super crazy, and he has all of these crazy creative ideas up inside his brain, and he's also just a really great singer. My favorite CD by them is their concept album Ever After, which is actually like one very long continuous song that is divided up into tracks, 
and it tells this fantasy story that Josh Ramsey came up with. My favorite songs by them are Stutter, No Place Like Home, Shake Tramp, Truth or Dare, um, Celebrity Status, yeah those are probably my top five. And now we've gotten into the top three which like I said with the top eight, the top three are like the best bands, like these are the ones that are the closest to my heart that I love so 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 much. Like honestly I call both bands one and two my favorite band so it's almost like I've gotten to the top two but anyway I digress. Number three on the list is Pentatonix. Now some people might disagree with me on calling them a band but I really don't care because they're a band. These five vocalists are so insanely talented and they're all like less than five years older than me. Like what? I am just so incredibly impressed with them and their talent and I love them so much and I watch Superfruit on YouTube. I just, they are so amazing. And my favorite CD by them is actually an EP and that is PTX Volume 3 which was actually released less than a year ago. I think it was either released in September or October and all seven of the songs on that EP are amazing. Like five of them are my top five most played songs on my iTunes. So probably my favorite song by Pentatonix is On My Way Home. It's just so good, um, but I also really love Aha and Can't Hold Us and Problem and honestly just the rest of PTX Volume 3. Like PTX Volume 3 is a masterpiece. So now we've gotten to number two on my list, which like I said, I basically just call my favorite band and that is All Time Low. These guys have been in my top three favorite bands of all time since like 2008. They have just been a constant for so long and they just hold a very, very special place in my heart. Like even though I do obviously absolutely love the band that is at number one, they're number one for a reason, they haven't been consistently within my top three favorite bands for as long as All Time Low has. As I've said many times, my favorite CD by All Time Low is Don't Panic. It's also my second favorite CD of all time. It's just near perfection. It is so good. So my favorite All Time Low songs. There are so many of them. Um, so Long Soldier is so great. I love The Reckless and the Brave. Um, Weightless, Shameless, Pop and Champagne, The Beach. Some of my favorites from their newest CD are Old Scars, Future Hearts, and Dancing with the Wolf. Also from Don't Panic, Paint You Wings is another great one. Honestly, that whole CD, just the entire CD. So yeah, I have lots of favorite All Time Low songs. And finally, my favorite band, the one who has been my favorite band for like five years now, the Mick part of Mick Busted, McFly. First off, they have Tom Fletcher, which is enough to get them to the first place spot by himself, but they are just so great. I mean, I genuinely love all four of the guys in the band. I think that they're such genuine, nice guys and I just love them so much. And my favorite CD by them is also my favorite CD ever, and that is Radioactive. McFly has gone through many different sound changes, but I really love the one that they have on Radioactive. And it seems like they might return to it when they go back to recording just McFly music, so I'm really excited about that. So now I have to name my favorite McFly songs, don't I? Yikes. Okay, so my favorite McFly song, like my definite, favorite McFly song is Lies. Like that one has been one of my favorites for a very long time. Obviously Five Colors in Her Hair is a standard. Um, Sorry's Not Good Enough is another one of my favorites. The Last Song is one of my favorites. Stargirl, honestly just McFly. McFly is my favorite. Thank you so much for watching what I assume is a very long video. I'm sorry I just gush about these bands whenever I start talking about them. As always, I will leave links down in the description to my blog, Twitter, and Goodreads. Please add me as a friend on Goodreads. I would love to be friends with all of you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!